to you all good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time zone and of course the time that you watch this video as always my people it is my prayer that this video gonna find you good of health how are you how am i i'm good as you can see so guys yesterday <laughs> i tried a different introduction where i almost choked anyways to the newest people in the house welcome thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and becoming part of this beautiful and amazing family to my returning subscribers you're the real thing or like what would i do without you it's because of you that my channel is where it is as we speak to the super slappers keep on slapping me i enjoy the slaps <laughs> to the fence sitters keep on sitting at the fence until the day you will decide on which side you're gonna fall so my people how is everything guys there are so many things that are happening in the white streets and as always we are here to bring you up to speed and to tell you the way it's supposed to be said and before you watch this video remember to give it a thumbs up and again if you're just coming across for the first time just know that this is a reaction channel and it is a niche in yt and there's nothing that you can do about it if this is not the type of content that you like consuming please move on and just check out on your preferences okay so guys, I want us to just have a conversation briefly. I'm going to start with um, this lady in Germany. Uh, there's this video that she did recently about Marwa and I want to give out my input. Because guys, let me just tell you, there's no way uh, we can force issues. You get uh, my message. Like you cannot force issues sometimes things are the way they are and there's no way you can change about that or there's nothing that you can do about it so let's take a moment and listen to this lady so when he was washing the dishes oh my mother would be proud of me i said what are you trying to tell me since your mama raised you never wash dishes me, I will always speak the one. I will come and correct you, Baba Marwa, because it's not right. That means you are just like a king. And eh? you are like a king. The wife or the woman is not like is your slave. A home that you live, you eat. And you say you are helping Rocio. It's the Airbnb for Rocio alone. I know that you people, even your Rocio, will still watch this my video and still say, I am a hater. I'm not a hater, but it's the truth. That is the reality. Your maid cook food, Marwa. If when you were living in Colombia alone, are you trying to tell me that you were not washing your dishes that you eat? Do you take the dishes for someone to wash for you? Are you not washing your clothes? Are you not cleaning your room when you were living alone? So what is the So difference? guys, let's start uh, with that. First things first, and I've said it and I'm going to repeat it here. So I don't know... Uh, like um i have said this for a long time you all know and especially if you've been watching me we have different cultures and customs let me just be very categorical with us here and our cultures and customs sometimes limits us on how we behave or how we do our things let's come to africa because you all know we are in africa <laughs> <laughs> we are Africans. That is something that we all know. We are Africans. And as Africans, we are very specific with uh, the roles that men play and those ones that women play. And remember, as I tell you this, I'm a woman who is educated. So don't come here and tell me you are shenanigans. I know what I'm talking about. I was born in a family where we have men. Do you get the tingle? And there's some things that I have never ever seen my own father doing, like washing utensils, uh, sweeping the house, you know. I, I've never seen him just basically doing some of the stuff that uh, we see these people attacking Marwa for. Marwa said in his video that he is going to do the utensils and his mother going to be proud of him. What does that tell you? If you just have your common sense. It doesn't mean that we don't have men that do this. But when you come down to our African culture 
And let me just uh, be very specific to our Kenyan culture. Men don't do kind, this kind of chores. Household chores are meant for women. Like, it is rare to find a man cooking, to find a man who are uh, doing utensils, cleaning in the house, feeding babies. Those are things that I tell you with my full chest. It is very rare for you to find an, an African man doing it. And this lady knows it. She knows it. It is not that because she has now uh, stayed in uh, she has now stayed in Europe that she doesn't know. She knows. It is only that she's trying to, you know, just to prove a point to her audience. But the truth is, she knows. So let's keep on listening to her. Your room when you were living alone. So what is the difference? He was even washing. If you see how Maro was washing the dishes, like, okay, I cannot wash. I, I have, like, you know, it's something that I've never done in my entire life. And my mama is going to be so surprised that suddenly I'm washing dishes. I say, ah, ah, this man is not normal. I think this is, uh, there's a video one time I watched uh, from... And so guys, let's talk about that for a moment. I don't know whether you did uh, see how Mara was cleaning the utensils. Like just uh, doing a shoddy work. Like it was not thorough. Do you get a tingle? And this is because this is not something that he does like in a daily basis. I don't know whether you, whether you are following with what I'm saying. This is something that he does not do. Uh, this is not uh, this is something that is not good at so let's keep on listening of course let's keep on listening to this of salvador back to back <laughs> you'll be watching it back to back except maybe salvador who don't want or leave you leave it to her, her mom or somebody to do it even though you will do it, you watch shit for picking back to you will hear the cry of that picking back to back morning to night. That is by the way. That is right there. You are carrying trash. You are changing pampas. You are carrying trash from your homes and going through. Eh? Your woman, those of you in the Western world, your women they will carry this trash like this and give you people. Go and throw it. If you don't do it, me, I do it too. They are, they, in fact, mostly, let me tell you, the men, they are the ones carrying even the trash outside in the Western world. They are carrying the trash and going through for the women. They are changing pampas, they are doing, and they wash tomorrow. They are cooking. They are washing dishes. And then they watch this guy that they are supporting. Oh, it's a new lifestyle because you are watching. I'm helping. So, guys. When you talk about her cultural differences, you can see she has brought it out herself. She has put our African men vis-a-vis -vis the men in the West. And there's a difference. House chores are not meant for our African men. <laughs> I don't know whether you get the tingle, by the way. I don't know. I don't know how you feel about this. But when you go to the West, it is common. It's very common. Personally, I've closely interacted with a man from the west and for them they don't have any problem with cooking doing utensils taking care of babies they don't have any issue with that and that is part of their culture like it's you know like there's nothing new about it but now come to our african men hey you'll be shocked actually if you've never interacted with an african man you will be shocked because most of the time their work is to provide and let the woman do all this. And that is why most women like in Africa, and I've said most, I've not said all women, I've said most. Most women when they get married, they are always um, convinced to stop working so that they can take care of the children and the house. And most women here in Kenya that have educated have stopped working and they're staying at home doing these chores. And that does not mean that it is all men that can't do the chores. But at 99.9%, .9 our Kenyan men can't do that. And that is a fact. So I don't know why she wanna, um, she wanna behave like this is something that is new to her. She comes from Nigeria. Come on. She comes from Nigeria. And I'm so certain Nigerian men cannot do what she's talking about. 
go to Jamaica. Most Jamaican men like cooking. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like, they feel um, it's ju it is just okay. Do you get it? So, guys, let's move on to the second segment. Still on this lady. Oh, 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 oh. this lady gonna finish her. So, this one, she is going to show us Pepe. She is going to show us Pepe. Okay. This one is going to show us Pepe. So guys, we all know where David Jr. is as we speak. David Jr. is in the Philippines. And we saw him going to visit Lola. We all know the history about Lola. Lola is David Jr.'s um, grandma. And of course, uh, it is through Di Mwango that David Jr. got to know about Lola. And in fact, most of us, if it was not for Di Mwango, we would not have known about Lola. So David Jr. is in the Philippines to visit Lola spend some time with her and the family and just get to experience the, that remote kind of lifestyle so guys <laughs> i told you the naysayers are not going to sleep they'll not sleep their work is to criticize back to back just the way they say their work is to criticize back to back they are you know it is like in their dna not to see anything positive or are they myopic? Could they be having selective amnesia? So let's listen to this lady. It's not that the girls don't want to go to school. I have not been watching the video. Guys, go and watch. So because let me just forward a bit. The goal is like to travel like to Europe, America, and all that, which is good. You know, there are young people, they need to make it in life. They are working hard. But I ask myself, you know me, when I see people are doing corner, corner in, or they want to take the poor people for granted, I said, no. It wouldn't work like this. These guys have been going to the field. How many times Di Mwango went to the field? In fact, Di Mwango got, in fact, she blew, she became more popular when she was in the Philippines. She knew those people back to back. She made a lot of money with these people. I want to go, you understand what I'm trying to say? After she made that, when I saw Lola, I said, ah, ah, this is not supposed to be. Lola is still in that poverty you used to know. Lola is still the way you see Lola before. If not, that maybe she's even worse now. And then I asked myself, I said, uh -uh. all these YouTubers that travel to Lola to make money, to make themselves rich, guys always understand the black beauty. Because I hate it when people use people. All these people, all the money the Mongo made, she made beautiful kitchen, beautiful home, buy things in her mother's house. Just that money came from the money they gave her to help that. Lola of Philippines. And what happened with the Lola? Lola is still in very bad state of poverty, as I'm telling you guys now. So when I saw Jigolo Master, when I saw Jigolo Master in Lola's house, I said, what? This is it again. They sent Jigolo Master to go and enrich himself. <laughs> now, a lot of people, you people don't understand <clears throat> the game. You should be thanking God that there are reactors on the YouTube street to tell people how far, how things are working. Because you people, a lot of people, people that are not YouTubers, they don't understand how the thing goes. How can you tell me that you have all the poor people in your village? Nobody has ever seen you with any poor person in your village like that, Jigolo Master. And you want to tell me that... So guys, you have heard for yourself. The naysayers are not going to sleep. Just take a moment and reflect. They're not going to sleep. They'll never ever see any go anything good in this family. Never. Over their dead bodies. Never ever. They won't. Now, the narrative is taking a different direction. According to them, David Jr. has been sent to the Philippines by Dim Wango. Just imagine, by Dim Wango. Now David Jr. is in the Philippines, in Lola's home. According to them, David Jr. is activating donations. Do you get the tingle? Just activating donations so that he can eventually scam Lola. What is it? What is wrong with this woman? What is wrong with the naysayers? I told you yesterday in my yesterday's video, actually if you've not watched, hey, 
you better go and watch so that you understand where this thing is at. Like this conversation is heading to. I told you, when Dimango went to the Philippines two years ago, she did a lot to these people. And actually, there's a person who dropped in my uh, the video that I did yesterday. And she said, apart from just the house, Lola's house, Dimango built a few toilets. By the way, what was her goal? Her goal was to have a house for Lola. Did she deliver? Yes, she did. These people back then really bashed Dimwango. Left and right. Left and right. <laughs> hey guys, you just go and watch the videos uh, while Dimwango was in the Philippines. According to them, that is the time that Dimwango became famous. Again, they are forgetting that. They said when Dimwango did a, a, you know, a video crying and calling out to the mayor, that is the time she became famous. Now, in fact, they don't have the correct details. For them, it's just a matter of talking and saying whatever they want to feel like it's okay. But at the end of the day, David Jr. is in the Philippines. At the end of the day, David Jr. was able to do some shopping for Lola. She did, like, uh, uh, Lola was so, so happy to receive David Jr. He never went there empty-handed as they expected. Why do they have to drag Dimango's name in this mess? So let's keep on listening a bit. ...person in your village like that, Jigolo Master. And you want to tell me that you travel miles away because you love the poor people in the Philippines. I don't know why people don't really understand. Do you want to tell me that they live this mile away or oh, miles, 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 thousands of miles away to go to the Philippines just because they love Lola? You think Jigolo Master was walking, trekking, you know? He was walking that long walk just because he loved Lola or he wanted to go and say, oh, this big project that his, uh, his sister did in the Philippines, they are there for their own game. They are there to use these poor people back to back and get their money. They are there not because they love these poor people. How, how many poor people are in here, Bohanzi? How many of them have you ever seen with Jigoro Master? Guys, I'm not against him going to Lola's home. In fact, I was so happy to see Lola. But I asked myself, Philippines that is so far. is in the Philippines, you now went, oh, you're looking for this poor woman on the mountain, in the villages, deepest of all deepest villages. Oh. So that is it, people. Of course, there are so, so many uh, poor people in Nyabuhansi. We all know that. But we know the history of uh, this, uh, the people of Nyabuhanse versus this family. We get to know, we understand, who doesn't know? And actually, if you've been on these streets for a long time, you all know. And then I'm just trying to wonder, when you want to do charity, are you just limited to your backyard? Or are you just limited within your locality? Like, can't you expand? Who are you to come and uh, tell uh, David Jr., Dimwango, and Dimwango who to help and who not to help? Remember, Dimwango is a travel content creator. And in her travels, she sees a lot of things. And sometimes she decides out of goodwill to come up with an initiative to help the people that she comes across. So, David Jr. has been talking for a long time about traveling. Finally, he is here. Finally, David Jr. has hit the road. And according to me, because this is my own opinion, <laughs> and there's nothing that you can do about it, according to me, traveling is in their DNA. Like, this is them. So, David Jr. has come out of his comfort zone of being in Nyabuhanse, Nairobi, Nyabuhanse, Nairobi. He has now come out of his comfort zone and is now exploring the world, which is a big plus to David Jr. Why wouldn't you just see this as a good initiative rather than you just being so myopic, like David Jr. wants to use Lola and then dump her? Does it mean that Lola does not have her own mind? So guys, 
and I actually sometimes uh, fail to understand these naysayers whether they are okay upstairs or not because at the end of the day can't they see a go the good side of a person can't they does it mean that people always have um, malicious issues does it mean that this family is always um, out and about to exploit people what is it with these people so guys let's take a moment and see what uh, david jr is doing out there for you oh, see her here this is yours yeah <laughs> She's so happy. Yeah, she's mentioning my sister's name. This yours. Yeah. Brought you rice, bananas. Um, yeah. <laughs> Bread. Soda. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So. Yes. Guys, I don't understand English. Your language. Yeah. It's here. It's here. Look at the color. 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 Look at he bought some goodies for Lola. <laughs> but then let me tell you, my people, if Devi had made a mistake of just appearing and disappearing without bringing any shopping, <laughs> they would have fried him live and direct. Like they would have really, really brought him on the streets and dragged his name in the mud. But look at David Jr. He's doing so well with the family. At some point, if you do go and watch his uh, video, you'll see David Jr. helping the family by splitting fire, firewood and generally just enjoying the village life. David Jr. is learning a lot. And of course, he has learned all this from the sister Dim Wango and the brother I am, Marwa. As always, David Jr. is doing so good for, for, uh, for Lola. So guys, let me read for you a few comments before we move on to the last part. So this is uh, from David Jr.'s channel when he took the goodies to Lola. David, you are indeed strong. You, you was raised to be strong and self-motivated. Uh, self God's guidance, the bike couldn't go there. Actually, they couldn't go up with the bike. Uh, they had to travel up to some point, and then David Jr. was forced to carry the stuff up the hill. Dimwango, Jamaican Empress, Filipino Queen, no wonder your super brother is so proud of you. I'm odd. <laughs> so, uh, so good done for the family, David. Keep up the good work, bro. Oh my God, wow, you are amazing. What a struggle. You deserve a medal. You are blessed. We all know the roads that head there are not like... Um, possible it is so tough i can just imagine him carrying all those boxes uphill and then uh, we have had people that have always come here on the streets to tell to just to talk trash about david jr see your life this is the reason why i will always like this family they are doers they do the action they walk the talk they don't just uh, talk they walk the talk whatever they say they do that, okay, let me repeat that. This is the reason why I will always like this family. They are doers and will leave their home in the village to travel far away and help those in need. Uh -huh. Let me see one more last comment. Active outside, blessed up bro. More love, health and happiness. It was a long walk to see your grandma 
we will be in the house welcome to your sister's journey so of course we all know dimango usually struggles a lot creating her content and all that so guys finally let's talk about jamaican uncle just for a moment jamaican uncle brought some goodies in kenya <laughs> and actually he gave out these goodies and one thing that uh, jamaican uncle did was to give the goodies with conditions the, gro uh, the GoPro cameras that he gave out here was like the users should not use those cameras to you know to just talk ill about Maro and all that and people have come out here to just talk a lot of uh, to create a mountain out of an anthill remember it's the gifter whoever was given the GoPro if you felt the conditions were not okay with you, you would have just said no. That is it. It's just as simple as that. If I want to gift you and I come with conditions, if you feel that the conditions are going to limit you, as they say, as the naysayers have started saying, then any person who is prudent would rather not have that gift. It's just as simple as that. And Jamaican uncle is a wise man because he was very specific. You cannot, you know, cut or attack the hand that once fed you. That is a very big mistake. A very big one. But that does not say, that does not mean that uh, the legs of Maro are perfect. They are not. So my people, I don't know what you think about this video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you do like watching my content and you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please consider subscribing. Thank you so much and goodbye for now.